Hey guys, so from the title of this video, I mean, I feel like my mind is kind of all over the place. I was going to make this very like formal and everything like that. Um, this is actually like kind of my third time making this video. I tried two times yesterday and I don't know, it's just really hard for me to even put my like business, like even though I'm a YouTuber and I agree with putting certain things on social media, I don't put 100% of my life on social media, but I feel like this is something that a lot of women, not I feel, I know a lot of women are going through similar things as me and I've always been the type to like want to help people, um, especially when it comes to mental health. Uh, being a new mommy, if those of you who don't know, uh, my daughter is about to be four months old. So I've been a mommy for the past four months and every single day of the past four months has been a roller coaster of emotions, of feelings, of just everything. Um, just everything with motherhood. Like it comes with a lot, whether it's continuing to deal with your spouse or not. That's a lot of pressure for new mothers because you're still also just trying to figure out how to be a mom. And that just adds a lot of stress onto you. And that's one of the things I've been dealing with. Um, I'm sorry, my phone is going so crazy today because I made a post on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I made a post um, because I had saw the Danny Lay, is that how you say her name? Um, post her and the baby, like whatever they was going through. Um, and it just kind of compelled me to speak out i made my video yesterday my videos yesterday like without even seeing what they was going through because i didn't see that until this morning it was like four in the morning when i saw that <clears throat> so um it just helped me realize like literally there's just too many women out there that are going through a lot when it comes to motherhood and i feel like our spouses don't always you know add to our mental health when it comes to being a new mom or an old mom or whatever type of a mom like men are a lot and they don't understand that they don't under I don't even think a lot of men understand just the stress of even just being a mom and so I feel like the only people who can relate to the stress of being a mom is other moms so I've decided to create a support group for women um, well for moms any type of mom whether you're a single mom whether you're in a relationship it's not have to it really doesn't have to do with one specific part of being a mom but just moms in general whether it's you have questions about your baby's health and you want to know like if other moms have experienced this this is the place for that if you are struggling with your baby daddy and you don't know what to do this is the place for that where you just want to vent like this is just a very safe place for women and I feel like we need that I've been honestly trying to create something like this since my baby's been born since I've been experiencing everything and most of the time I've just been talking to women in my DMs um, on Instagram because like there was women that were pregnant that I knew before me and they had their babies before me and there's women that I know that had their babies after me and I felt like I was really relying on those women that were pregnant before me like oh how was birth how was anything like that um I just really relied on the support of other women. I really relied on their in their what was I about to say? Their opinions. I wasn't going to say that, right? <coughs> Excuse me. But um but yeah, so I really relied on the women ahead of me for I looked to them for support. I looked to them for encouragement. I looked to them for opinions and advice and everything like that. And then the women after me Everything that I wanted in or what I needed when I was in their position, I try to be that. Oh, sorry, mom, I'm calling. Let me call you right, right back. Bye. So I try to be that for the women that were behind me. <clears throat> when they were going through about to give birth, they were asking me like, what was it like? What does it feel like? What do I need to expect? And things like that. And that's also why I'm here on my platform because it's a lot of questions that women have and we don't have answers to or we don't know where to find the answers and that's really why I just want to create this support group because it's like it'll be like a one-stop shop of just support there's an app okay let me just get into the details of everything um and then I'll go into my personal details about what I've been experiencing and just going through so there's an app um it's called geneva i'll put it across the screen and i'll put a link in the description um it's for support groups um of any kind it's not just for 
baby mamas or and, and if you let me say that because my support group is called baby mama gang and if you're the type of woman who doesn't like to be referred to as a baby mama it's really not that deep <laughs> whether you are still in a relationship whether you're married and you're still with your baby daddy you're still some baby's mom you might not like to refer to yourself as a baby mama, which is completely fine. And if you feel it's that deep, then don't join. I mean, that's all I can say. But if you're someone who really just wants support and can look past the name of a group, then by all means, send me a DM on Instagram and we are gonna get you in. You do have to be accepted into this group because I don't just want anybody to join and talk about whatever they want. Um, I want to make sure that the women that are included in this group are not going to be judged. They're not going to be uh, shamed. They're not going to be like, you know, anything like that. I want this to be a very, very, very safe place. I want this to just be for women that are mothers. And that's just that. Um, it's no shade to any guys that are dads and that are doing it by themselves. And it's also hard for y'all. But this just is not the space for that um and yeah so i'll put the link in the description for my support group and if you want to join um i do have to accept you to join into the thing so that's why i'm saying send me a dm on instagram if you want to keep it more private or you can leave a comment under this video and just tell me what your name is and i can accept you um uh, i will be removing people if it comes to that if you're judging people if you're shaming people if you're just being mean if you're just being a piece of crap like I just don't want any negativity at all within this support group so if you're someone who just wants a positive space to just vent clearly freely judge free whatever hit me up and we'll you know get you in the game so a little bit about what I've been going through um, just because I don't really want to talk about it anymore um, I just want to deal with what's happened and I want to heal and I want to move on and I want to be the best mommy I can be. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty shallow. The past two videos I made, I went into too much detail. And personally for me, it just wasn't, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel, that's why I had made two videos because the first one, I let it all out from beginning to end, from everything I've experienced, from everything I've gone through. And I just want to say like, you know, they always say like, oh, be careful who you choose to have a baby with and this, this and that. But not everybody shows signs until it's too late. And I just want that to be clear. I don't think a lot of women understand that. Everybody thinks that there's red flags from the beginning and this, this and that. And there might have been some. But to this degree, no way would I have ever expected for my life to be what it has been the past four months. Never in a million years. <laughs> so, with that being said, um... I do have postpartum depression and I have postpartum anxiety. In the beginning, when she was first born, when we first bought her home, I was psycho. Like, I was losing my mind. Um, I think it was mostly just from the lack of sleep and the lack of help. Um, but it was hard for me to even accept help at that point. So I can't 100% blame anybody around me because... I honestly wasn't accepting of the help because I'm just like, I need it to be done right, so I'm going to do it. On top of all that, like on top of just the anxiety of dealing with a new baby and the doctors at the hospital and the nurses at the hospital make you think like your baby can die any second and all the horror stories that you've heard your whole life, it adds so much stress. <laughs> It adds even more to the anxiety, it adds even more to the stress, it adds even more to the postpartum depression. But once you start to get a little bit more sleep, you start to be, you start to learn your baby more and you start to understand like, okay, when she makes this noise, it's not the end of the world. But them first like two weeks of life, you think everything is the end of the world. And I'm not kidding. Or at least me. I don't know if every mom feels that way. All the moms I've talked to, most of them agree with me. So that's just that. But... Um, after those two weeks, I feel like I had baby blues the first two weeks of her life because I wasn't sleeping. And like I said, the, the entire load just felt like it was on my back. But it was also because, like I said, I was not really willing to accept help. But, um, 
as time went on, I felt like I was okay. I'm like, oh, thank the Lord, I don't have postpartum depression. But when she got to about two months, um, I want to say it was like really like a, like a week or two before she turned two months. And then for sure at the two month mark, I knew I had postpartum depression. Um, they say you can get postpartum depression for up to, I've heard one year, I've heard to up to three years. My therapist, I am in therapy right now. <laughs> Um, she said up to three years of your baby's life, your first three years of your baby's life, um, you can experience postpartum depression and it doesn't have to happen right at the second you have the baby. It doesn't have to happen, you know, the two weeks in. It can happen months and months and months later and you just don't realize it. And I felt like I didn't realize that I had postpartum depression until for sure her two month mark once i hit once we hit her two month mark i knew for a fact that i was extremely depressed by that time me and her father had broken up and it was a big breakup um we had fought before that the fighting honestly started from the day she was born um but like by two months we were like okay we're done like let's just stop trying like it's not working and we were done at that point but um after that i wasn't convinced i wasn't ready to let go of i'm sorry let me collect myself i wasn't ready to let go of the idea of having the family that i had intended to have for the reason i had a baby the love i thought was still had a chance um I just really was like, no, I still want my family. I'm going to fight for my family. And that's what I did. Um, I tried to make it clear. I tried to get therapy. I've been try I had tried to get therapy for months and months and months and months and months. And it seemed like therapists, <laughs> when I tell you, some of these therapists out here do not need to be in that profession because they are so unprofessional. They, I feel like some therapists make it worse. <laughs> And I've talked to other women who can agree and say the same thing. Like, I, the stories I've heard literally the past four months of my life have been just outrageous. I don't want to cry. Okay. And so, yeah, so it took me a really long time to even be able to get a therapist for myself. I don't think I received therapy. I think I've received therapy maybe the past month. Um, and that was only, it's sparse because it's such a heavy, so they say, this is my therapist's word, it's such a heavy saturated moment in time where everybody just seems to need therapy and I feel like they can't keep up with the volume of everything that's going on, especially with COVID and everything. Um, just a lot of people need therapy and I'm thankful that I'm very strong minded. I'm very, um, I'm just strong in my head. Like emotionally, I'm normally a really strong person. I don't usually tell people when I'm hurting. I normally like to keep stuff to myself when it comes to how I feel, whether it be within my relationship. Like, many people can't tell when I'm hurting. Um, even those closest to me. Um, I feel like my mom's always been like the one to notice if she does notice sometimes. But that's been more in recent years. Um, I've been depressed before due to relationships, due to life. I've been depressed many, many, many times. But I'm such a strong, I'm so strong by myself, like within myself. So I always just keep it within myself. And I put on my smile and I, and I come in front of the world and I just continue to be Lisa <laughs> but I just feel like now it's different it's very different um I feel like when me and my baby father are on good terms and it's like oh i'm not depressed anymore but it's like the second something happens it's like straight back into depression and i just don't want to feel like that i don't want to be on the edge of a teeter-totter and one second i'm in it one second i'm out i just want to heal 
and to do that I do have to separate myself from my child's father because it's just not the man I fell in love with um I've been fed lies I've been mistreated I've been hurt um and I'm just tired of being hurt. I don't I don't like being not well mentally. And it drives me insane when I'm not well mentally and my daughter needs me to be well mentally. So for me to do that, I just have to do me. Um I know a lot of people, even today, just me making that post, like kind of just saying like that I'm single and I'm no longer with my child's father. A lot of people have been DMing me like, oh my gosh, we was rooting for y'all. Y'all seem so happy. And it's like I said the same thing when I saw other women go through it too. And I used to always just wonder like, how do you break up after you have a baby? Like, how does this happen? Y'all seem so happy. I've said that about so many women and it's like you don't understand it until you go through it and you can't see other women go through it and be like oh dang let me um, take this into consideration because you never think your situation is going to end up like that and I feel like that was one of my biggest problems because I was so happy for so long but it's like when my baby was born everything changed. So, with that being said, I'm single. I'm okay with that. Um, I have no problem being single because I just want to be happy. And if being single means to be happy and be healthy for my baby, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I would never, ever, ever. After the last time I was depressed, before kids, before this relationship, with my last relationship, I was extremely depressed after that. I vowed to myself to never, ever, 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 ever sacrifice my happiness to make someone else happy, to just never, just, I would never do that again. I told myself that I would never, ever, ever, I always come first because if I don't come first, nobody else is going to put me first either. And I thought I had finally found my happiness, but like I said, everything changed and that's fine. I can deal with that. Um... Is it a lot? Yes, it's a lot when somebody is mentally just straining you, financially straining you, um, not being a man of their word, not being a man at all in my eyes. So, like I said, I just have to remove myself from the situation. Um, I could wish all day long that I would have known before I had a baby, but my baby was brought into this world for a reason and I love every inch of her. Unfortunately, her parents can't be together and give her everything that I never had. But like I said, I am I was straight. Like, I was raised in a loving family. My grandparents have always loved me. My mom has always loved me. I was always surrounded by people who loved me. And I can at least do that for my daughter. Um... Yeah, so I feel like I'm talking about, about what I've been going through. Um, like I said, if you would like to join my support group, please leave a comment with the name that you signed up with or hit me on Instagram in my DMs and I will add you to the group. Um, hey, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like I said, the link and everything will be in the description. This is not sponsored. Um, I wish it was. <laughs> um, but it's not sponsored. So I do not get anything out of this by signing up. I just want everybody to be happy. That's always been a goal. If you've ever been around me, you know I don't play with mental health. Never have. Not men, not women, not friends, not relationships. I've never, ever, ever wanted to see anybody I even had one conversation with down. Um, so it's just always been a big thing for me and I'm happy that I do have a platform that's growing every day, um, at a beautiful rate and that I can reach out to many people or many women and that I can help a lot of women, um, other than the ones that I've known and other than the ones that I've already had multiple conversations with and just a lot of venting ear, um, 
yeah so i just want everybody whether where, wherever you are in the world to just you know have that somebody to listen and talk to so um link in the description i'm gonna go bye <laughs>